Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the custom equalization of uh, sound inside of Final Cut Pro 10. And you might be thinking what am I talking about? Or you might be waiting for me to hurry up so you can learn how to equalize sound properly. Now, first of all I just wanted to let you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if we just listen to this opening dialogue. <coughs> So, Lucas. She says, so Lucas. Um, however, to me, it sounds a little flat. Now, when you're trying to record the audio, this is what you want. However, when you're trying to output um, to film, you want something a little bit more dynamic. So what we're going to do is do a very simple um, boost of the high tones and uh, boost of the low tones as well to give it a little bit of bass and an extra bit of clarity. So if we just click on the clip and then press I for the inspector, And now you can see um, in the audio pane of the inspector we've got a few options um, and our options can consist of effects now if I just delete that because you won't see the effects um, we've got a pan and volume um, and an audio enhancements now instead of going into this like I did in a previous tutorial what we're going to do is choose the equalization but we're not going to choose one of the default ones um, although you can and they will give you really quick um, improvements we're actually going to click on this button which gives us the graphic equalizer now the way to look at this graph is if you think this is your high notes and this is your low notes this is decreasing the volume of the low notes this is increasing the volume of the low notes and then we can grab these and make them louder or um, quieter across the spectrum of sound so what we're looking to do is obviously boost some of the high notes to increase a bit of clarity and also dip uh, sorry boost some of the low notes to add a little bit of bass and a little bit of oomph um, to her voice now sometimes obviously the recording can actually come out a bit too bassy in which case you would actually want to decrease the bass but the bottom line is this gives us an extra bit of control now we can actually increase this to 31 bands and then you can see we've got a lot more control however for what we're doing we're just going to leave it at the 10 bands now be warned obviously as you just saw it does reset it um, now why am I creating a bit of a gradient here um, and that's because if we just boost all of these up to the same level and then it suddenly had a drop for the mid tones um, you can create a bit of distortion so a nice smooth um, curve will help a little bit I mean I'm not a sound editor but um, you need to know how to work with sound um, to improve your filmmaking basically and now like I, um, you just close that dialog box and if we just go ahead and press play so Lucas you can hear that's a lot more dynamic and a lot clearer and a lot more oomph um, than what we had before which is exactly what we're going for now like I said there were some um, default ones that we could have had and also if we actually go into the effects browser you can see um, we just wait um, you can see we've actually got loads of um, effects that actually a lot of these will actually play around with the equalization um, you can see the one that I had earlier, um, the brightness, you can see it adds the brightness um, to the effects panel uh, just like it would do if it was a piece of video and you can see that we can actually go in and customize the dynamics of the brightness filter. Um, so even though these are pre-made effects for audio I advise you to only look at these as starting points because you can see we can actually go in and customize this sound effect um, to fine tune it to what we're actually after. Now I didn't actually want the, that brightness, um, but that's just an example. So hopefully this was useful. Um, I recommend you apply this uh, method to some of your dialogue scenes and hopefully you'll get lots of uh, rich audio. Um, and if you're wondering, this video is from my upcoming Minecraft um, unofficial advert okay. which will be online hopefully this Friday and if it's already up then the link will be in the description um, and it's basically about a boy who is in trouble for playing online video games 
However, the parents have a darker secret that they want to, uh, that they can't share, not with the child and not with one another. Um, so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new tutorial.